Victoria's duck hunting season starts tomorrow and both sides of the acrimonious debate have criticised plans for this year. As environment reporter Sarah Phillips found out, hunters say the science behind new bag limits is wrong, while environmentalists claim the economics don't stack up. Tomorrow at sunrise, Victoria's annual duck hunting season will open. This year, the hunt is lacking a crucial ingredient, water. And that means fewer ducks. Because of the big dry, there are new government-imposed limits on the number of birds hunters may take. I have for a long time been of a view that this is a legitimate form of recreational activity within responsible limits. The bag limit is eight on the opening day, down to four each day till the season ends in June. Last year, the bag limit was 10. Shooters say they'll abide by the restriction, but are concerned the government's not using a scientific approach. What we're seeking is improved science and a commitment to that science so you can make properly informed decisions rather than what might be essentially arbitrary decisions. Richard Kingsford, a leading water bird expert, agrees there's little evidence to show how much impact shooters have. Look, the jury's still out on that. Uh, we know they have a, a local impact when um, wetlands are shot, but at a regional scale or a, a national scale, we just don't know. The ministers responsible for reducing the duck season in 2016 declined to explain on camera how they determined the bag limit. In a statement, the Minister for Agriculture, uh, Jala Pulford, said Victoria's 48,000 licensed game hunters, including about 26,000 duck hunters, are contributing over $430 million to local economies. But that figure comes from a 2013 statewide study and includes all hunting including for deer and pest species. The government is lying to the people. And if Jala Pulford uses that figure, she is lying to all Victorians. It's not a correct figure. Laurie Levy has long led the fight for duck hunting to be banned in Victoria, as it has been in Queensland and in some cases, New South Wales. Sarah Phillips, ABC News. Thailand's plan to divert 